Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a full face of testing new makeup. Not every single item is like a new thing, like some things I just don't have a new product for. I tried a lot of new products that I haven't tried before. I tried the Sky High mascara that was like crazy viral on TikTok, so stay tuned to know my thoughts on that. If you want to see me create this look and see what products I was testing, then continue watching the video. But before you do, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other videos from me. And yeah, let's just get going. Okay, so I don't have any new primers. So I'm just going to use my regular Revolution Mattify Primer. So I'm just going to go and sculpt my eyebrows. I might like time lapse it or I might just do it off camera because I do this in like every makeup video. So for foundation, I actually had a few foundations. So I'm going to be using the XX Revolution. I don't know what this was called. Oh, it's down here. Okay, this might be too dark for me because I got this when I used to fake tan. It's in shade 8.2. I do have some Body Shop Lightning Drops. So if this is too dark, I'll mix some of those in. Why is the dropper not dropping nothing? Oh, there we go, that might be too much. Let's mix it with a back of a brush. I might try this and then just put some of the drops on top because it's kind of hard to tell. But then if I just use these lighting drops, it might be right. Because I don't know if they, I actually don't know. Do they affect the like foundation? I must, they must do slightly, but not massively. But now I've got to go and mix it again because I didn't have enough on my hand. Okay, this is a very good coverage, I have to say. And actually, that colour match, after those lightning drops, is decent. So, if I'm not mistaken, I think there was two of these foundations. There was like a more matte one and a more glowy one. So, I bought the more matte one. It does look very thick on my face. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that. Um, but it's covered up most stuff, which is really nice. So, for concealer, I have the new Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye. It with vitamin C. This is the shade light. Um, so it's basically some of these sponges. You just have to windy, windy, windy. I think we're getting there. Okay, I've definitely not brought it to the surface enough. Now I'm not actually sure on like what the um coverage is meant to be with this. This reminds me of the Maybelline. Um, is it Maybelline? What was that twisty one up? That twisty one called? I used. I still got it in my drawer. Yeah, I think the color was good. It was. It's almost like a direct match. Okay, I wouldn't say the coverage is like amazing. It's quite sheer. But I can see how it's like illuminating. I should probably shouldn't have put it on my spots. It's definitely shiny. I'm gonna put a little bit of my other concealer on the places I've just put that to give me some more coverage. It's just a L'Oreal one, it's my favourite. Uh put it down here, put it here to loosen it. I'm gonna put it on, on my under eyes and then put the other one back on top of it. That's so much better. This is such a thicker concealer. Just over the top of it, just to brighten under my eyes a little bit. That I definitely would use this with my L'Oreal one. I think it looks really nice with the L'Oreal underneath it, definitely. Next thing, powder. I just don't have a new one, so I'm just gonna be using my pa By Terry powder, like I always use. So I'm going to go into this Miss Lynn, um, I don't know what it's actually called, Beach Please, or Barbados Babe, I'm not sure what the actual shade is on this. This is a bronzing and contouring powder. I've never used this before, I've literally only swatched it, so I'm not going to, it looks like a deepish colour. So I got, I think, like the medium colour. So we'll do like a little at a time, just so that we don't <laughs> overdo it. This is really pretty. It blends lovely. Okay, I think I prefer this to like Hoola. Like, I think this is my new favorite bronzer. I am obsessed. It's so blendy. Like I'm looking at myself in my reflection in my mirror and it looks really good. I really love this bronzer. I really do. I got it on Beauty Bay. I don't know where else you can get it, but I definitely would recommend it. There was loads of, there was like six shades or something going from like, it was like light to dark, like as in for different skin tones. I think I've got the one for like light to medium or medium. I more go by the undertone of a bronzer more than the shade. Now for blush, I'm not the happiest. <laughs> the only new blush is a Beauty Bay blush. And if you've seen my Beauty Bay haul, you will see that I got this blush thinking it was matte. 
and it's not it is a shimmer so i'm gonna be really light handed with it. but it's like fully got shimmer in it and i really don't like it. i like to if i use shimmer blushes i like to put them on over the top of a matte blush God, it actually does have a bit of pigment i think that could just be from what's on the blush but on the brush i'm not entirely sure whether it is this pigmented or not but i have used it once by the way <laughs> but like i think it was just randomly i tried it and i was like oh it's too shimmery so i stuck my matte blush on top of it and um, this is the first time using it like by itself and actually with this bronzer i quite like it okay i look a little bit clowny i know we will fix that i promise next we're on to highlight i've got this beauty bay one in flash which from swatching it it was a really really lovely color so i'm gonna be like a little bit light-handed with this because i've got a funny feeling it might be a bit glittery yep <laughs> Ooh. That was, that's, I don't even know if I need to dip back in. Just go straight into the other side. Okay, I really like that highlight. I think it's very like blinding, but it's also, if you blend it a bit, it's quite subtle, which is really, really pretty. Okay, so now what I do is I'm gonna use, I have actually used this set in spray like twice. This is the Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Mixing, no, Misting Spray. I always like to set and spray my face after I've done my whole base. It can look a bit powdery, so I always like to put a setting spray on because I feel like it gives the illusion of skin. Now I'm now gonna go into my eyebrows. Um, might fast forward it because it's not a new product. It's the Revolution Pro Dark Brown Pencil. And I always use this, so there's no point of showing it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use my Benefit. 3D brow tones. My eyebrows don't look great. As for eyes, I'm actually gonna be using this palette. So I'm just gonna do a really simple look using some of these colors, like nothing special, literally something so simple. I'm gonna use this Spectrum brush. Um, I'm gonna dip into this color at the top here. Oh, I just realized I haven't said you, this is just the Revolution, Makeup Revolution brand, and this is the Courage Wild Animal palette. It doesn't seem the most pigmented so far. Hmm, maybe it's because the brush. This colour is really boring. Right, let's try a different colour. I'm going to try this colour down here. With the same brush, because why not? I'm going to take one of these My Zuiva brushes, but it's got some extra old stuff on it, but it's fine. We'll just deal with it. I'm going to take this colour down here. I'm just going to put that in this outer corner because it's like a deep purple but I just don't love the just look of it anyway which is kind of why I didn't want to do a video on it because like solely just on it because I just didn't think I loved the colours too much but they're definitely nice to like dip into and like do things like this but like, I'm not very inspired by this palette. I use my MAC 217 and take that first colour and try and blend it a bit more. Oh, okay, this brush is picked up way better than that Spectrum brush. Just need some more colour up here. Okay, here we go, that's more colour. I'm liking this now, I'm using brushes I like. I'm just going to go with my finger. So I'm just going to use this gold champagne colour up here. I think is what I'm going to do and just put that... Yeah, that's pretty. I'm just going to put that in my lid. That's a really pretty colour. I want it to be subtle. I feel like if you use setting spray on a brush, this would probably... Let's try it. <laughs> this is a little flat brush. Let's try it with setting spray, because it's quite a powdery palette, which makes me think it's... This, this shimmer should be actually quite nice. Okay, look at that. That's really pretty. Oh, especially when you go back into the palette after the brushes work. Okay, yeah, we're going to do this. Oh, I really like this. That's super pretty. It's quite foily, like it's made it really foily. Okay, yeah, so I do really like this palette. If you, want, if you like the shades, definitely go for it. It is a really pretty palette. It's just not really my type of shades. But that's just personal preference. I'm going to go back into that. There's so much powder on my top. Um... That darkish, darkish shade I use, the purpley sort of one. And try and sort of blend that in a little bit. And I'm just going to go underneath a little bit. 
My eyes feel a bit setting sprayed, I have to say. And yes, I am using a big old fluffy brush to do my under eyes. I'm just gonna, there's not really like a really, really light color for my inner corner, so I'm literally just gonna take the highlighter. This tiny, whiny little, um, is there anything on it? This detail shader brush. I'm gonna put this in my inner corner because there's not really a shade in the palette that's light enough. I've kind of eyeshadowed my actual tear duct, but it's fine. Okay, that's definitely brightened up. Oh, so much more. That's so much prettier. Next thing I'm a bit scared for because I've not done eyeliner in a while now, but half from the other day, but with a felt liner, it's it's been weeks, maybe a month because no, it's definitely been a month because I went onto my sleek liquid liner because the felt ones kept drying up. So this is the Divine Duo Magic Eyeliner, which is eyeliner and a lash glue. I don't really wear lashes, um, and I'm not gonna attempt for the. I have got some. I bought some to use them to like get used to using them, but I've not really had the chance to do it yeah I just keep forgetting um and I'm not going to do it for the first time in this video so but we're just going to try it as an eyeliner so it's it's a silicone thing and as far as I know I have to like pump the top I'm assuming it just it's going to start coming down okay I've watched a YouTube video of someone telling the directions she said to shake and then for three to five minutes. So I think I might do my lips and then come back to the eyes. I think I wanna go for this one. So this is the Beauty Bay Lip Gloss in Slippers. I think I wanna put this one on. And then for lip liner, okay, so this Revolution one is in the color Heart Race. This might be a bit too, oh, this is a lovely formula. This is the Satin Kiss Lip Liners. But it's quite thick, which is nice. And then I'm gonna go with the lip gloss. Which this is definitely, I think, darker. I don't know, it's more nude, I think. I don't know if I'm loving this colour with my lip, my eyes, but I'm actually gonna mix a little bit of the mocha lip gloss in just to see if it darkens it a tiny bit. Okay, I've kind of done a little bit of a mixy mixy of the two because mocha just was a, had a little bit more darkness to it rather than just so peachy. Okay, now we're going to go on to the eyes now that we've done lips. I do like this colour though. It's pretty. I really like the lip gloss. It's like, it smells incredible. It's not sticky. Okay, now we're going to get going. I ha will have to be silent during this because I haven't done eyeliner with a felt liner in a long time and this one's not like super long either. Oh yeah, I normally lean on my lips and now I've... um. Mm, that was a mistake. I normally lean on my lips to do my eyeliner. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I have to say, I so much prefer doing it with a felt liner. It gives such such like crisper lines than a, like a, what they're called? Like liquid liners. I'm gonna come back to it. I just wanna do the other eye. The thing I like about this pen is I think because it's a lash glue, it's it's quite got a lot of like ten it's not like super just like it'll just like run across the eye if that makes sense. Now <laughs> they look so 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 different, but well, I can definitely tell going back over it this one's like the glue's kind of dried. Which is cool. Not that it's dried, but it's like tacky. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I know it's not amazing, but it will do. I don't even know if you saw me doing it, because I might have been covering it. But I actually really like this. I mean, I know they're slightly different, but I honestly am not fuss. Because once my eye I've done my eyelashes, you really can't tell that much anyway. That they're not exactly the same. So next thing I've got is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Which I am so happy about. Because everyone's gone on about this on TikTok. I love Maybelline mascaras. I live by the Lash Sensational Mascara. It's the only one I've used for about five years. I have high hopes for it because it's Maybelline and I only really like Maybelline mascaras anyway. The only downfall is that I like waterproof. This is just black. There wasn't a waterproof version. I couldn't find one anyway. And I love waterproof mascaras because 
My lashes aren't the most curly, so I found out that by using a waterproof mascara, once I curled with the curlers, using a waterproof mascara, like, kept them curly longer. It has a really wobbly brush, but yeah, we're gonna cover lashes and then we're gonna try it. I feel like the lash curlers are getting stuck to the eyeliner. Um, sometimes it actually rubs off some of the eyeliner, which is annoying. I have such high hopes for this. I think I have opened it once and then put it back in, because it was, I don't, I'm not sure, I just feel like I have, which is good, because I never like mascaras when they've just been opened. I like them to like dry out a tiny bit. Right, let's see. Where did you go, bro? Okay, thoughts on the first coat, from the first eye. Not as curly as my eyelashes tend to be, but longer than my eyelashes tend to be. But it's definitely not got as much volume and curl as my Lash Sensational would. And I'm just gonna assume that's because that's waterproof. I think if this was waterproof, it would be a different story. And I think it's because of the moisture in a non-waterproof mascara drops your lashes. It's a very, I don't love the wand. I love the shape of the wand, but I don't love the flimsiness of it. It almost is amazing, but isn't. It's annoying and amazing at the same time. But yeah, they definitely look like they've drooped. And it also hasn't dried. Normally my eye would have dried in time by the time I've come back to it. Like it would have already dried. So that's interesting as well. Don't know if it's because it's a brand new mascara, that could be why, but this is so bloody droopy. Mmm, I'm really not, like, I literally want to go and get my Lash Sensational Wand. I need it to dry so I can, like, really get into it because it's so watery. Like, I think it's because it's a new mascara, but my eyelashes, like, go and watch any other one of my videos after two coats mascara, does not look like that. I'm very underwhelmed. If you're like, oh my goodness, Sky High's amazing, please just go and try Lash Sensational. So far, it's 100 times better than this. And if you have an issue with like keeping your lashes curly, get it in waterproof. And everyone's different. And apparently so is my left and my right eye, because this left eye looks amazing. But that right eye is, look at the difference. That's a joke. <laughs> I need this one to like dry so I can like try and lift it up. If it was both like this, I'd say it's on par with my Lash Sensational, this side, but this side is really not. It's so wet, like it's not drying. Please just try this. Okay, I reckon think maybe the two mixed together would be amazing. I think what happened is this one dried more between each coat, which made it work better. Whereas the first side, like, I think this is actually incredible, but make sure it dries properly between each layers because with my other mascara, maybe it's because it's more dried out. By the time I've done my second eye, I can go back and go straight in. It's dried already. This side, this one hadn't, so I went back in and it hadn't been, it wasn't dry yet, so it just clumped it up and didn't work. Whereas this one, I made sure was dry and it's worked so much better. So that is it close up. Ignore that thing, but... Yeah. What I'm now gonna do is set and spray myself because I am actually basically done because I've already done my lips. Now, hopefully because this is a matte setting spray, it will help the eyelashes stay. I was pleasantly surprised by the eyeliner, but yeah, that was the video. I did really, really like everything I tried. I actually love how this makeup turned out. I like, really do love it. Yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to say. I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know what your favorite thing was that I used, any things you want me to try. Leave them in the comments down below. But yeah, please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And yeah, I'm about to go film a wardrobe organise, which I'm not really, like, look at the time. So yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.